Hello and welcome back to the continuation of our June updates for Disney World. We're going into the Magic Kingdom today to check on construction of Tiana's Bayou Adventure and anything else going on throughout the park. So I'm heading there now through the Transportation and Ticket Center. Let's go. Here on this side of the property, I thought we would also go check out the construction over at Polynesia, as well as the beginning of the lobby refurbishment over at Grand Floridian. So we'll make this a whole original resort kind of day. All right, so we have made it into the Magic Kingdom, and here. In the entry area of Main Street, doesn't look like there's anything new. We've got the Dapper Dan's entertaining guests out here. But let's go ahead and head down Main Street and see what we can find today. This little side street here was closed for quite a while, getting some new brickwork done, but that's all open now. You can now go back there. That's one of my favorite places on Main Street to just hang out and chill. Over here at Cinderella Castle, the 50th anniversary decorations have all been taken down and they've actually repainted all of the turrets. So all of the scars from those decorations have been fixed and repainted and they're still working on some stuff because all the lifts and everything are still down here and the moat is still drained but the 50th is officially over and it looks like the castle is staying this color hopefully it'll fade some more and i think once it fades it'll look a lot better behind the castle here we have these work walls covering up a larger piece of equipment that's being used to remove all that stuff by the time this video comes out, Disney has probably made all their announcements for the holidays. We may have found out that the dream lights are coming back where this equipment will be here for the latter half of the summer into the Halloween season, getting ready to put up dream lights. Over here in the pathway between Tomorrowland and Fantasyland, the mayor of the meet and greet is rumored to be going away and being replaced by Mirabel from Encanto. Not really sure when that is gonna happen, probably sometime later this year, but that is currently the rumor. So come out and meet Merida while you can. Over in the Starlight Cafe at Cosmic Rays, Sunny Eclipse was gone for a little while while they repaired what looked to be some kind of leak, but I'm happy to report that Sunny is back entertaining guests all day every day so that's great to see that's something that everybody kind of freaks out about every time that he disappears wondering if he's gone forever but he's back over here in tomorrowland this isn't really it's new it's more recent but it's not anything breaking but the tomorrowland light and power company has turned into the launch depot and it's now mainly a gift shop for tron instead of for space mountain However, they now both share the same gift shop. I was browsing through the Launch Depot looking to see if anything was new, and there's this little Space Mountain ornament that I don't think I've ever seen before. But I don't think it's new because this one back here is covered in dust. But that's really cool, something I've never seen before. And one of the biggest updates here recently in Magic Kingdom is, of course, the opening of Tron Light Cycle Run. It's been open for a couple months now, a few months actually, and this ride is a lot of fun. I personally really enjoy it. That initial launch is probably the best part, and it does have a lot of re-rideability. So this, this front half is really good in the front. The back half is good throughout the entire ride. In the middle area of the trains, I think is the best experience because you kind of get the best of both worlds, but the front 
through this launch. It's just something else. It's unbeatable for this ride. Another really awesome part about Tron is that it has this pathway that opened up with it that leads to and from Storybook Circus. So you can go back to Storybook Circus and you can get from Storybook Circus to Tron very easily. I did get a virtual queue spot for Tron. However, it's estimated that I will ride at like 9.59 currently, which I don't know if I'm gonna be out here at that late. But we will see what the day holds for me and maybe we'll stay out, see some fireworks, and ride Tron a little bit later. Summer has definitely arrived here in Florida, so if you are coming out to Disney World or Universal or SeaWorld or anything here in Florida, be sure to bring your water, drink a lot of water, rest. There's a lot of people just sitting on the ground today. It is hot. So just, just take it easy. You don't have to do everything all at once. Don't stress it. Drink your water, take your breaks. Your health is more important than some ride that you may possibly, not everybody can come here multiple times, but it'll be here. Your health is more important. Walking through Fantasyland and New Fantasyland, I'm not really seeing anything new. Nothing really to update on, so I'm just gonna head across the park to where the big news is. Over here in Liberty Square, there's nothing really new to report. Everything is just about the same. Tom Sawyer's Island is the same. No changes there, but I think that is one of the things that we could probably expect to see some changes on within the next couple years. But this is where we start to get a look at the work going on over at Splash Mountain. And there is a big crane up in the sky, so they are actively working Maybe we can see something interesting today. Over here in Frontierland, this is where some of the first updates might happen that you'll see in the park regarding Tiana's Bayou Adventure, where Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe may change to Tiana's. And of course, all down this area is going to be rethemed to better fit the Tiana Bayou New Orleans theme but for now it stays Frontierland. I think this is going to cause a lot of controversy once they actually do announce if this area will change. Looking straight on here at the attraction previously known as Splash Mountain, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, it is covered in scaffolding. There's somebody up there doing some work at the very top, the very top of the hill at the top of the big drop. Not a lot of noise coming out over here, except from up there. Maybe a lot of workers are on their break currently. Because it, it would be strange if this crane was up in the air and they didn't have a purpose for it today, but lots of work going on. Over here in the turnaround, they did have a big hole right here where those gray rocks are. But they've completed that rock work. And for the most part, it looks like a lot of work has stopped down in this area. Over here in this area of the park, it really is dead. Ever since Splash Mountain closed, there hasn't been too many people out here. Mostly you'll just see people in line at Big Thunder Mountain, which appears to be currently closed, which isn't helping out the situation of nobody being back here. But even when Big Thunder Mountain is open, you don't really see too many people back in this area. You can really get a good look at some of the exterior work going on. Here they have the top of this uh, rock area, clay work right there, all exposed. And it looks like they're gonna put something on top of it. But all of that scaffolding. It will be interesting to see what happens out here because this is, this is the Frontierland Railroad Station, but it sits with Tiana's Bayou Adventure between it and actual Frontierland. So, I mean, at least this has got to change names, right? And also this gift shop outside of Splash Mountain has been closed a really long time. So you have to think they're gonna utilize this space 
I mean, this is a perfect spot for, if not a gift shop, some kind of grab and go quick service. Crossing back over the bridge towards Adventureland, looking back up at the top of Slash Mountain, you can actually see it looks like they have the peak of the mountain. The interior steel is up there, and they're working on that right now to enclose the top of the lift hill. What I would like to see Disney do is theme this entire area from this Adventureland portal all the way down to Tiana's Venture and turn it into a New Orleans French Quarter style street. You already have the portal here. Just change up the theming on this side and the other side. And walking down here through Adventureland, again, nothing really new to report in this area of the park. Just as busy as ever. This is actually one of the busiest looking areas of the park right now. But nothing new, no construction, nothing like that. And with that completed walk around the Magic Kingdom to check up on what is new, I think it is time to head back down Main Street and check out the monorail resorts to see what's going on over at Polly and Grand Floridian. And I think it's about time I eat something now that the lunch rushes are over. I'm gonna grab something to eat along the way, probably at Polynesian next. that we have made it to the Polynesian Resort. It is time to head over, follow the cranes, and take a look at the construction. Coming up around this corner here, we have the new DVC building, the DVC tower. One thing about this is it's a lot taller than I expected it to be. And it towers over, pardon the pun, but it towers over the rest of the resort. I kind of wish it was a little bit shorter so that it didn't overtake the skyline of the Polynesian Resort as much, but it is what it is. to update on in regards of that place. I mean, it's just gonna be a DVC tower. Um, the look of it is pretty controversial. I don't mind it. Sure, it doesn't fit with the rest of this, but I mean, that's what people want these days. They want a modern look. That's what Disney's going with. And because we're on this side of Polynesian already, we're just gonna take the pathway to the Grand Floridian. It's hot, but the breeze feels nice. Always good to get outside and walk. As I'm walking here, this pathway is not as scenic as it used to be, at least for now. This walkway used to be along the beach that connected both resorts, but currently it's out here by the road next to the Shades of Green, I believe that is. There's a lot of work going on here. I think you can definitely tell what Disney is putting a priority on. There's so much happening here compared to in the center of Epcot or over at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So many construction workers over here, very few at those other projects in the parks. Now that might be because they're in the parks and they do a lot of work at night, but still, Focus on those parks, Disney. Right here is where the pathway used to be and probably will be eventually, right next to the wedding pavilion. But we've made it to the Grand Floridian. So getting a bird's eye view here, we can see that a portion of the Grand Floridian lobby has already been put within work walls. Not quite sure what they're doing here currently. 
Actually, I don't think they've even released any concept art for what they're doing here. But it's definitely getting some work done. As soon as you walk into the Grand Floridian, you're met with work walls. You don't really get that grand entrance that you usually get. They are still trying to liven the place up though. They have a grand piano player down there playing away. But if you see, there's actually some cast members getting ready to remove some more furniture. I heard them talking downstairs. So they're removing furniture, preparing for those work walls to come out a little bit further. This is really just a grand and peaceful lobby though. I really hope they don't change it too much. If this enchanted rose lounge restaurant area is anything to go off of, maybe they'll change it to a Beauty and the Beast theme instead of kind of the era of Mary Poppins. But I really hope they don't change it too much. That is going to do it for me here today. Taking a look around Magic Kingdom, seeing what is new for the month of June. Lots happening in one place at the Magic Kingdom. All for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Took a look at the new Polynesian DVC tower that is coming along very quickly. Put some of that effort into the parks, Disney. Epcot Center. World celebration in the middle of Epcot needs, needs some attention. Put some more people out there. And then of course the Grand Floridian that is getting a lobby makeover. Hopefully they do not change that too much because that is a beautiful place. But that's gonna do it for me here today. I believe I'm gonna go to Universal Studios next and see what's going on over there and Islands of Adventure. But please like, subscribe, comment, what are you excited about in all of these parks? I'm personally really excited for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I think that is going to be a fun ride with new life injected right into it. But I'll see you all next time. Peace.